Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have this time is a unique knife. Uh, it's unique in a number of ways. Uh, so this is, I'm probably going to mess up the pronunciation, but this is a Daovois. It's uh, made from a, a truck or vehicle leaf spring. Uh, it's a 210 millimeter Gyoto. So one of the unique things about it, it's made from leaf spring carbon steel, and its construction is mono steel. So it's a single piece of steel that's been ground um, and hammered to shape. And uh, it's also made in Vietnam, so it's a unique departure for Chef Knives to go. I've never seen some of the earlier knives that they've sent. I understand those were a bit more of a project knife. Uh, they've had some feedback from Chef Knives to go, and they've definitely uh, refined their product. And again, this is the first one I've seen from them, but it's a, they did a nice job on this. It's a nice knife. It's very unique. The price point is excellent. And the handle, as you'll see, is really top flight. I, the, one of the biggest surprises on this knife also was how nice the handle was on it. But um, it's a lightweight knife. Uh, the handle's actually fairly dense on it, but it's a, it's a pretty good performer. So it's a really interesting, interesting blade. The weights and dimensions, I'm sure, are going to vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 163 grams or 5.7 ounces. The edge length is about 209 millimeters, about eight and a quarter inches. And then the overall length is about 13 and a quarter inches with this handle. Uh, the blade's fairly thin, and so I measured about 2.1 millimeters up uh, coming out of the handle and about two millimeters. And you get some little variations here because of the hammering, but around two millimeters. And then it does start to thin out. You'll notice a taper to it and it gets pretty darn thin at the very tip. It's actually quite thin at the tip. And the grind's not tall, but it's not a thick blade overall either. And it's thinner than this choil shot shows. It's fairly thick right at the back here where they ground it, but it's definitely thinner closer up to the blade. This heel area is a little bit less consistent on the grind, but it's definitely thinner towards the middle and the front. And the performance really is quite good. You've got pretty good food release on it. Um, the blade road, our blade grind you can see is fairly rough because it's done on a grinder, um, but it's um, you know the edge profile is pretty cool. We'll take a look at it. The tip's probably the only area where it looks like uh, maybe they got it a little hot, but uh, they definitely ground it a little bit thin. Fair amount of upsweep towards this hip, so this will rock nicely. Blade height's about 52.7 millimeters, and the neck's kind of medium wide, so you still got lots of clearance there. Uh, the handle is one of the big surprises. This is a really nice handle. It's octagonal. It's tapered, and it's uh, got you know back. It's got a chamfer on the back side. It's got a chamfer on the front side. It's uh, very very smooth where the wood two woods meet. Uh, it's got a nice feel to it. Um, the circumference where the two woods meet is about 75 millimeters. The the glue job is pretty looks pretty solid on there. It's got a dowel insert on it, but uh, very surprising on the handle. It, it really elevates this blade. Um, uh, let's see, let's get a close-up of it here. So you can see it's fairly smooth, kind of a KU style finish on it. And they've got an etched logo in there with the name. This is the left side of the blade as you'd be holding it. So again, it's a fairly smooth finish, but you can see some hammer marks in there. Uh, you can definitely see some you know, markings on the spine, although they've kind of relieved the spine a little bit. The choil area is a little rough. Uh, you could definitely clean that up. Uh, it's a little bit rough on your fingers here, but that could easily be cleaned up with some sandpaper, about a 10 minute job if that, and that would clean that up a little bit. Uh, as I said, performance is really pretty darn good. The blade's straight, uh, the tip's thin. Decent out of the box edge, but it took a pretty nice edge on the stones. I gave it a two progression sharpening with a 400 and an 800 grit stone. Here's what the edge profile looks like. It's actually a pretty smooth profile. Nothing real flat, but rolls into the heel. Fairly aggressive belly and an upsweep to the very tip, so I can get really high on this. So this thing will get way high on a rock, no problem. Way up there, because th that last part of the tip sweeps up. Every knife's probably gonna be a little different from this, from these makers, so, um, you know, you can get some variations here. But that's what this one looks like. But, you know, quite tall for the length of the knife, but just an interesting knife. It's, uh, you know, it'd be, if you want to learn how to sharpen, the steel seemed pretty good to me and uh, pretty easy to sharpen. Took a nice edge. The um, price point is excellent, so it's kind of something fun to have around if you just want to try it out and see what it's all about. But very interesting knife. And I, I saw that Mark is also selling these handles separate. 
Uh, and you know, this handle is really nice. I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised. It's not super long, but it does have that taper to it and the finish is really good on it. So, uh, pretty cool knife. So this is the Daubois uh, Leaf Spring Gyuto 210 millimeter knife.